are all crime, vandalism, burglary, assaults are all projected to increase in 2012, both violent crime and property crime. What are the what are the three top specific actions you would take to reverse this trend? What are the things that they're, they're, they're trying that we need to reverse is basically the budgets in connection with the police department and the assault on those budgets. Because at the end of the day, we have to improve response times. Now, how does that happen? It's the staff ratios. We have one of the lowest in the region in connection with police officers. We're at the lowest level since 2004. That needs to be changed, ladies and gentlemen. And it's not going to be changed by basically, again, with inflated budgets in connection with bureaucrats, city hall, and not making the tough choices based on special interests. Well, the first thing I would do, I already did, blowing the whistle on that crazy idea, attempt really, to lay off police officers when we're already understaffed. Over, over time, we do need to get more feet on the ground, but I, I need some clarification. So, were you saying that no. raising the sales tax no. was a mistake, or did you just have no opinion? No. Okay. Uh, you don't ask each other questions. more 
police officers, and we are running a force that's barely at the minimum, and we do need more police officer, officers. Um, one of the things that isn't talked about very often is we have one of the best police, best paid police officers, in addition to being the best quality police force, they're also among the highest paid police officers. During budget negotiations, you know, you, you have priorities, and you ask the police officers their priorities. Their priorities, the last round, was to maintain raises and give up uh, positions. That was their choice, not the city's choice. Closing.